Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another photo editing tutorial for you all, this time featuring the beautiful Carmine Rose. I will link her Instagram down in the description box below. So let's get to it. I have this photo open in Camera Raw and this was shot exposed for the highlights. In order to have maximum range or maximum dynamic range in your photo, you would want to properly expose for the brighter areas because it's easier to retain and restore details in the shadows. So if you blow out your photo, there's no saving it in post without it looking extremely overprocessed. As you can see, I've brightened the dark areas substantially while still retaining that sunset glow around her. I made a copy of the background layer and I'm going to start off with dodging and burning. Dodging and burning is adding brightness to the areas that are already bright and adding darkness to the areas that are already dark. I will link Pix and Perfect's tutorial on dodging and burning in the description box below. That's where I learned this from and his tutorials are amazing. I highly recommend them. Curves adjustment. Curves and bring the curves up. Double click on the layer and move the slider to minimize the range of the brightness shown. You are subtracting the dark areas from the underlying layer in the current curves layer. Alt option click separates the sliders to help the color transition. Shift Command Option E creates a merged layer of the curves and the underlying layer. We can discard the curves and name the layer Dodge. Go to Image, Apply Image, and we'll subtract the original from the Dodge layer. Convert it to a smart object and change the blend mode to Soft Light. Now I'm masking this layer and inverting it to black. Black conceals, white reveals. I select the layer, use my brush tool in the color white, and paint on my image to slowly reveal the dodge that I created. Before I edit, I'm going to make a new window for this photo and set them side by side. It gives me the option of zooming in while having a full view of my photo. I'm going in very subtly with my edits. I don't like to overdo anything, I rather under edit. I'm adding more brightness to the areas that are catching light to give them more of a pop. This also helps with emphasizing shiny objects. So a little backstory about my travels in this shoot. I did a solo trip to Austin and my goal for every city I visit is to do a photo shoot with a local model. Someone had recommended me to her so I messaged her on Instagram uh, asking her if she wanted to shoot and we ended up meeting in downtown Austin around sunset time. It was so much fun. She was such a pleasure to work with. Super professional, super easygoing. I'm happy with that. I'll create the burn layer first before adding any more brightness. Same thing as before. Curves adjustment. Curves. And now we'll bring the curves down. Double click on the layer. Reduce the lightness from the underlying layer. Smooth it out. Click OK. Make sure the dodge layer is turned off before you create a merged layer of the curves in the original and discard the curves. Apply image. Subtract the original from the burn layer. Convert for smart filters and change the blend mode to soft light. To make this blend out a little more, I'm going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm playing around the slider to make the burn look less matte. With this layer now masked, I will slowly reveal the dark areas where I want to emphasize shadow. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared 
scared, but I swear I'll never give up the fight. I see you broken and beat. Head pulled down over your eyes. Every part of you wants to surrender, darling. Now I'm going back into the Dodge layer to brighten up her outfit more. It's such a regal, elegant piece and her pose is so dynamic. I really want it to stand out. I want her to glow. To add more contrast, I'm going to darken the design on her outfit to add more richness to the color. I'm going in with the crop tool to crop this for Instagram, so 4x5. I generally prefer the crop tool in Lightroom, but I figured I should get used to this one as well. I don't want to cut her off at the knees, and I also want to leave a good amount of headspace to emphasize that dynamic feel her pose gives, like she's dancing for the sun, posing for the world around her. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna pop this into Lightroom for some last minute quick adjustments. I'm going to make the temperature warmer. I really want the viewer to feel how warm and glowy the sun was. Now it looks really yellowish greenish, so I'm going to make the yellow more orange in the hues panel. And a slight vignette to top it off. Here is the finished product. Here is the before for a comparison. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you would like more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.